something kind of cool happening. I'm getting ready to make some vacuum bags for gluing fretboards on 10X. I had a lot of luck lately using my big vacuum bag. Hold on, I'm going to go turn the, the air off in the spray room. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So, I use a vacuum bag to do a lot of things, laminating especially, because it's without a doubt the best way to laminate because the pressure is even and super strong and you just can't make it any better, man. It sucks down. It essentially puts the weight of the atmosphere on whatever you're clamping because it creates a vacuum, right? So, what I decided to do after I realized that I could use my big vacuum bag to do necks, to do the fretboards on necks, I had a fairly good system where I'd made some clamping calls and I could put the board on there and then clamp it to the table and everything. And that worked fine, it worked just great. But one day I was like, why don't I use a vacuum bag? Let me just try it. And I put it in there. For some reason I had in my mind that if I used the vacuum bag, it would put too much tension on the neck, headstock or whatever, and break the thing off. But I realized that if I stood there and watched it while it was pulling the air out, I could move the bag up to the headstock where it didn't put any pressure on it. So, and I think I have a picture of that. I'll put that on the video so you can see it. So what I decided to do was just create um, custom vacuum bag for necks, and this is it. And what I did was I bought some clear, not clear vinyl, but some vacuum bag vinyl from a company called Veneer Supplies. They sell this material and it comes in rolls and you can buy as much of it as you want and you can glue it together with vinyl cement. You glue this together and it is, it is welded together once it dries. There's, you can't pull it apart without destroying it. But it's a, a leak-proof seal that creates this bag and then you use these little tubes here like this that clamp the vacuum bag together. See that? I'll get you over closer so you can see that, how that works. But it's a very simple and very effective way of gluing a fretboard onto the neck. And it's my go-to way of doing it now. I am blown away by the quality of the glue joints and just how well and how easy it is. You put it in there, you turn the vacuum pressure on, you can walk away. You come back an hour from then, pull the thing back out, clean up any over, you know, any splooge out, you know, that comes out of the joint before it gets hard. And it's good. It's not going anywhere because it dries a little bit faster in the vacuum because it's sucking all of the moisture down into the wood very, very efficiently. Okay, so that's the thing. That's what I'm doing. So I made this bag and I simply just bought the material that you can buy at veneersupply.com. You can do this yourself. And it comes in, the, you can buy these kits and you're gonna need to do, put one of these little nipples on there so that you can put this down inside there and hook your vacuum tube up to it. You know, your vacuum hose. I use this, I use this vacuum that I also bought from veneersupply.com. And it works extremely well. Now this one will run constantly but it, it's not, not a big deal. Once it comes up to pressure, 25 HG, it just maintains pressure. It doesn't try to uh, destroy it or anything. It's just maintaining pressure at that point, right? So, I use that. Hold on, I wanna check something, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I thought I heard somebody pull up. But what I need to do today is I need to determine where to put this and I'm gonna and I'm just gonna put a hole in here where this needs to go through, where the tube goes through. Put that nipple on there and glue that down with some vinyl cement. Then I have a bag for doing necks. Let me go get the neck and I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I can get it right here. So you got your neck and your fretboard. I do my frets before I put it on the neck. It's so much easier to do. I know a lot of people do it with the neck shaped and that's cool, but to me, it's awkward. 
do it flat like this, and then you glue that on here. All right, you got the holes in the back and in the neck, so everything lines back up where it's supposed to go. You put your front, you put your truss rod in, right? Put your fretboard on, and then that will just shoot right down inside here, like so. That's plenty big enough to do a fretboard, a guitar fretboard. Now I need to make a longer one to do bass necks, but that's not a problem because I have enough material to do it. All right. So I need to put this nipple right about here. That gives me enough room to bend over this end and put the clamp on like that. And then the nipples here, somewhere in this area here, probably somewhere around in here. Then this one will bend over, put that clamp on this end, put the pressure to it, and it'll just squeeze these two things together very efficiently and very cleanly and it works really well. So let's go ahead and I'll get you over here closer. You can see how this works. I glue that on there and I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow when it comes out. We'll, we'll glue this together tomorrow after I get, you know, I wanna let this sit overnight and dry. And then I can, you know, put the pressure to it and uh, we can see how this works, okay? So I just wanted to get you going on it, um, how we did it and all that type of stuff. In case you wanna do one too, you know, if you're a builder and you wanna try this, it works extremely well. Get you on closer. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, so here's the nipple I was telling you about. And this goes down inside there once you get it in place. <clears throat> and that's what allows your hose to hook up and suck the air out, right? <clears throat> we don't need this just this minute. Let me pull this back out of here. And this fretboard, what, we, what I'm trying to do is mass produce parts now. And this is a fretboard and neck bird's eye maple that we're gonna put on a body that we already have. And as we can, we're gonna work on getting that done and put it up for sale, um, trying to do a little mass production. Mother of pearl dots, bird's eye. That's just one little weird spot in it, but that's okay, because that's what wood does. Pretty. A little bit of bird's eye, not a whole lot. Some cool looking headstock though. All right, so let's get the bag done. So we've determined that we want this hole somewhere around here because these, you have to have enough room for this to bend over like this. That folds over. This goes on there like this. Boom. Right? You buy this in a long piece and you cut it to whatever size you want. And that's enough room for a guitar neck to fit in, no problem. Right? So hopefully one day I'll have a bunch of these set up. But we're doing one at a time for now. So I'm thinking somewhere right around there. It's probably where we ought to have it. Although I could put it in the middle. That way I could put a piece of mesh under there. And it wouldn't matter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in the middle. Right smack in the middle. Okay. I'm going to do that hole right there in the middle of this thing. Let me figure out where the middle is. We've got a 40 inch bag. That means the middle is here at 20. So I'm just going to set this here. Trace out that inside hole, and then very carefully cut that out with an X-Acto knife so that we can see what we're doing. Here we go. All right, that's what we want right there. Pull me on inside there so I don't cut all the way through. That. Cut that hole off.
glue that down right there. So what I need to do is make a, a board with a hole cut out in it so I can put it over top of this and put clamp pressure down around this ring and hold that in place while this glue dries. I give you a nice little tube of glue here. This glue is, um, doesn't say what it is, but it's vinyl cement essentially. It does contain methyl ethyl ketone. All right, whatever that means. So let me drill a board out real fast and come back and glue that on. Okay. These things are brutal. Freaking spade bits, man. It's too lazy to set the drill cut. Just dumb because I could have just done that, but I'm trying to do it quick. There you go, that's all I need something for that to stick through there, like that. Okay, get that little chunk out of the way there. All right, so now that'll fit through there, and that gives me something to clamp down on, right? You get all this junk out of the way here. Tape this in place. I'm going to clean this area real well with some acetone before I put the glue on it. And I'm going to move it over here like this. And clamp that down right there, I think, so I can get to it. Although I probably don't need to do that. Let's see how we do. All right, can you still see everything good? Okay. There's our hole right there. Here's our piece. I just happen to have some alcohol right here that will also work. Acetone or alcohol, either one will work for cleaning this up because it'll cut any grease that might be on there. I'll just rub that on there real quick. That. Okay. Good thing about alcohol is it evaporates almost instantly. So now we know that whole area is very clean, except for where I keep wiping it with my hand. You know how dirty it was? All right. Put that back in there like that. That's good. Put this here, I'm gonna wipe this off too. <clears throat> Just to ensure we get a really good, really good bind on there, man. And I'm also gonna take a sanding block, and just scratch that up just a little bit, and get a little tooth. Like that. Just to scratch it up a little. Okay. Put that there, a couple pieces of tape on it. The tape will keep it from slipping. This goes over here, then we clamp it, and we should be good to go, and then tomorrow we can try this thing out. All right, so let's use our little tube of whatever this is on here get a nice coat of that nice thick coat on there all the way out to the edges we don't want to have anywhere where air can get in there <clears throat> Set that there, put a piece of tape on it. 
Well, it won't slip on us. Get this crap off my finger. The Lord only knows what it's made out of. Came from the darkest depths of China. Okay, this goes here like that. Now we'll put a couple clamps on there and we should be good to go. One there. One there, one there. A couple on the other side so we get even clamping pressure. <clears throat> my other clamp. Oh boy, I'm missing the clamp. There it is. Be right back. Okay. Now, that thing, it's got nice, even clamping pressure. And tomorrow it will be one. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the vacuum bag video. So I let this sit in the clamp overnight. You saw me put this in the clamps. So I put the nipple on there. Nipple's a good word. So we take these clamps off. Steve's over there. Say hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. There you go. Told you. Told you there was a guy named Steve. All right. So, we got the nipple clamped on. Man, that looks good. We'll take this platen out of here. Good old piece of Corian. They come in handy. Handy, handy. And, take the tape off. And I want you to look at how well this glue welds this stuff together. Look at that. You couldn't get that off of there unless you cut it off. And that's something that's cool, huh? All right, so now we got our nipple in the bag. And we'll put our little uh, insert in there. Let me get all this junk out of the way right quick. Put the clamps away so it'll be there when we need it next. And them clamps come in handy. Just kind of fire rolling. Uh, now I just need to find the nipple. The insert for the nipple. And it's around here somewhere. But I don't know where. Anyway, I got one I can demo this thing with right here. And you just stick that down in there like that. Ah. Uh. And that allows you to hook your bag up to it. I mean, your vacuum up to it, up to your bag. Then, we put a clamp on one end like this. Get all the dust off of it and dirt, plastic pieces. All right. Now we got that like that. Let me just crap it. Got stuff in the way as usual. Stuff. It's back in here. Alright. All right. So that's where we are so far. We got the clamp on one end. Now we need a neck. Got our frets on there. I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper and just knock down the little sharp edges right quick on the edges of the frets so they don't cut into the bag. These bags are tough though. All right. So, got that. Let me get my clamping call. Hold on.
you guys have seen these. Make these with the CNC. Super straight quarter saw and piece of sapili. Very nice and straight. And I cut the slots, pre-cut the slots in it for the frets. I don't think you really even have to do that. We're going to try it both ways and see how it looks. But I wanted to try it with this to see if it fits in the bag okay. And I believe it does, of course. If it does. We'll slide that in. Like that. Center it up. I'm going to put a piece of little piece of netting under here to keep the air flowing. We got this netting right here for vacuum bag systems. Heavy duty nylon net. Okay. I'm just going to slip that right in there. Probably ought to take that down. Let's do that. That way I don't have to find it. Just put the net right there and put a little piece of tape across it. Make it easy on myself. Put that in the bag, up to the net, like that, put the other clamp on, should put the net a little further down. That seems to work right there. Okay. So we're in the bag. Pretend it has glue on it. I'm not ready to glue it down yet. Get the vacuum pump out. Put the hose up. And for some reason, they didn't put a switch on this pump, so you can turn it on and off. You gotta plug it in, then it immediately starts running. That is clamped. Just about as good as you can clamp anything. You can't even move the fret, the neck on the board that's inside there. You can't shift the two apart. They're stuck together so good. Ah, that's how well that's clamped. You get you a little closer. That's good. Vacuum. We just removed the atmosphere from this bag. The weight of the atmosphere is now sitting on top of these pieces inside this bag, but it's equal pressure all the way around, so it doesn't destroy it. It just pulls it together as hard as it can. And man, you just can't clamp anything better than that. I like that. That's the way I do next from now on. It's fast, it's clean. You let that sit in there for about an hour, it's good to go. Now let's try it without this in there. 
and I, I think we probably don't even need the clamping call because it's going to pull those two pieces together. And if your pieces are straight like they're supposed to be anyway, it should be good. So let's move it around. Take that back apart. Take this back out. I'm going to take this clamping call out of there because I probably don't need it. One thing the clamping call will do though, I can see will help protect the bag a little from the frets. I don't think it'll be an issue. This stuff is tough. Alright, hold this over. Back. Throw the vacuum to her. Hit the pressure. That's how fast it clamps. It's like that. You don't have to fight with a bunch of clamps. It's done. It's clamped. It's clamped tight. It ain't going nowhere. We're holding right at 20 HGs. I can see the edge. Everything is perfectly tied together. There you go. That's good. I see no issues. That's it, guys. So you could use one of these if you want. You don't have to. I think I probably will anyway, just to give it some protection uh, from the for the bag for the frets against the bag. Even though this stuff is super strong, it's not really going to hurt it. Maybe over the years it'll wear it down. But man, it don't get much easier than that. It's a little bit of an investment, but. Remember, do it a different way. All right, that's all I got for you, man. Vacuum neck clamp. All right, guys, we'll see you out there somewhere. Be good to each other, okay? And thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye now. Peace. Work guitars. Motherfucker's firing on him, ain't he?